Hello YouTube, this is Mayun J. Uh, today the purpose of this video is to show you how to route the LG G2 uh, by T-Mobile. Uh, this also works for AT&T, Verizon and I Sprint as well. Uh, guys, pretty much uh, first thing you gotta do is you're gonna go to settings and in order to enable uh, developer options as you can see here you have to go to about phone then you go to software information then where it says build number you're gonna tap many times until it's gonna be like about five times until you see uh, you have successfully become a developer once you see that message then you're gonna go back here and you're gonna see the developers options turned on okay now before you can turn on developers option you can't have your uh, phone connected yet what you do is you go to developers option and then there you're gonna see uh, USB debugging you gotta enable it okay once you do so, uh, what you have to do next, guys, is from the link that I'm going to provide below, you have to go to this website, um, and then you got to install the driver. So I'm going to give you the link below. You got to go down here, and then you got to install the drivers on this link right here. Once you have the drivers installed, uh, you connect your phone um, onto the computer, and you got to make sure that it's uh, on charge only. Uh, make sure that it's not on media or LG software or any of these. It has to be on charge phone only. Once that's completed, guys, now I'm going to give you another link where you're going to download the actual zip file. Let me scroll down so you see uh, where it's going to be at. And here's the link uh, to download the zip file. After you download the file uh, from XDA Developer, it's going to look like this. You got to extract it into a new folder. Once you extract it, you're going to open that folder. And it's going to be down here, guys. It's going to say um, root batch file. So what you're going to do next is you're going to um, open the batch file. You're going to run it. And here, as you can see, guys, it says uh, press any key to continue. So you do just that. All right, guys. So... If your phone becomes, um, if, you, if it becomes uh, frozen there where it says looking for a device, what you got to do is the following, okay? What you do is, you scroll down, you go to where it says uh, USB only, charge only, then you're going to hit uh, media, then you go down once more, you hit cancel, you scroll down once more, and then you go where it says USB uh, connected, and then you put it on charge phone only then that's going to bring up a message. Okay, so that's going to bring up this message right here. Once you see that, you hit OK, and now it's going to start recognizing it. Okay, guys? Now, right here, you got to follow this instruction. It says, now please unplug uh, USB. So you unplug your USB. Next thing you're going to do is, it says, go to developer options, where we're already here, and then it's going to say, um, Enable, uh, disable, and re-enable USB debugging. So you do just that. You disable and re-enable USB debugging. You select yes here. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to plug again your device onto your computer. All right, guys. And then next thing you're going to do is press any key to continue. So you do just that. All right, guys, and if again, if it says waiting for device and it stays there, you're going to select, uh, do the same trick again. Then you select OK. Now here, guys, it's going to give you next. It's going to give you a message saying that if you're sure you want to root it because this could hurt your warranty, which it will. However, I believe that there is a, an unroot process for this, just in case you have problems with your phone. But anyways, if you're agreed to this, you press any key to continue. All right, and now your phone is going to ask you a question about, um, let's say it's like Google wants to check your device for any unusual, um, you know, uh, harmful behavior. So you hit decline for now. All right, guys, and it's done. As you can see here, the root is process is done. So now we're going to go ahead and test this. We're going to press any key to continue. Now, um, AD, uh, command prompt just closed. So let's go to the home here. Let's go to the app tray and let's find root explorer. 
and as you can see guys the phone is already rooted okay and we also see super user right here I don't know if you can see that but the phone has successfully rooted all right guys so that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions please let me know uh, comment below uh, thanks for watching subscribe for more and have a good one